This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, everybody. Where this will probably be the last part of Turnabout Target, the beginning, and then I think I think there okay. are only two parts. I think it's beginning and end. I was about to say, if there's like three parts, how long are the other <laughs> cases gonna be? <laughs> the other cases get pretty long. The final, none of them I think come close to the final case of the first Investigations game, but some of them are pretty long. That was pretty and long, yeah. These are all good length cases. There's only one that I think is too long. All right, I stayed in one spot. Or, no, I didn't stay in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? You were moving around while you were recording. Why were you doing that? Uh-huh. What do you mean, why? Surely when recording a speech, it is best to remain still. Th that's... Well, you know the importance of covering a story from every angle. I wanted to convey the living, breathing, events in print. Yes siree, you betcha. If you were moving around, I doubt your tape would have picked up anything coherent. W well, it's, it's like a done set! I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. Here and there? Could you be more specific, just as the si such as the side you were on? When I say here and there, I mean just that! I was all about the place! You couldn't swing a dead cat in that crowd, you expect me to remember where I was? Could you at least remember if it was the left or right side? Left, I reckon. The person in the photo is also on the left side. Is this just a coincidence? I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time in my tape recording. So you're saying it is logical that you can't be seen in the photo? Yep, I was near that prosecutor when his voice got recorded. But I reckon this picture must have been taken when I was far away, no doubt about it. Ain't nothing wrong here, far as I can see. So you're saying the photo and the recording were taken at different times? Darn tootin', it ain't about the equipment, it's all about the timing! What if they were both taken at the same time? If I can prove that, her entire testimony will collapse. Are there timestamps on her recording? Uh, let's check the recording out. Because we've got the transcript. My dear friends, there is a reason for my <laughs> It's because I hate America. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you all. He just gets to the point and flies off. It's like, we spent how much taxpayer money to fight America just so you could flip them off? Yes, yes it, was it was worth, worth it. it. <laughs> the president passionately addresses the crowd. He's to fight in the rumors flying around about a recent decline in his approval ratings. Okay. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this. You seem quite pleasant. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can do that. You seem quite pleasant with the Yadagorasu incident has been resolved. Nice, nice attempt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't care. The president raised his fist in the air. The atmosphere is cut boil to a fever pitch. Uh, nice attempt. <laughs> <laughs> the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. That sounds like something that, like, dang, Thor dang. would say. Yeah, so there's no time stamps. No. Okay. Case got camera, the camera data. Does, is there, like, a time stamp in the corner? Like, no, there's no time blah, There's blah, no blah. time stamps. Oh, we know it. We know it is because he raised his arm when he said He's the hammer never of justice. Off right now. He, when he said the hammer of justice shall be absolved or whatever. It's very true. That's what it is. Scary face. The way I speak to others is not intended to come across as intimidating. Then why don't you try relaxing a bit more? You make that face when you put all the tension in your brow. No matter what you do, always do it with a smile. Don't you agree? I am searching for the criminal who attacked the president. This is no laughing matter. There's a time and place for smiling, and this is not it. Said the prosecutor with a grin on his chin like the Cheshire Cat. End quote. What frominous nonsense. I should show her what a real scary face looks like. Uh -huh. This is a photo of Prosecutor Von Karma when he was eating the file. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, what do you got? You know how they had that photo oh, yeah. when, like, he's in the <laughs> he's, in the elevator and he's like, ah! Yeah. Nicole seems rather aloof about all this. Still, she just doesn't seem that kind of person to tell harmful lies. I agree that she doesn't seem like a person with ill intent, but... If that's the case, there must be something even worse troubling her. In any case, Miss Swift's movements have been recorded on that tape. Surely I have evidence that sheds some light on this. 
Alright, so she's saying... It ain't stayed in a spot and blah blah. Yeah, it's cause Hammer of Justice shall be... Okay, I think both work. I hope both work. <laughs> Miss Swift, a reporter shouldn't lie. I ain't lying. I'm an honest journalist. Perhaps, but there's no denying that the photo and the recording were taken at the same time. That's so? What makes you say that? The truth lies in these photos. This photo could only have been taken at the same time as your recording. Yeah, both of them would have worked. Which spot shows that this was taken at the same time as the recording? Her eyes. <laughs> Kay's 100 watt smile. <laughs> Look at those teeth. <laughs> Look at that little boy on the box. <laughs> Here, study this area closely. Therein lies the answer to this mystery. Kay has a cavity in one of her teeth. She <laughs> needs to get that checked out. <laughs> hmm, nope, I don't see it. Where is it? Here. Here, look closely. Can't you see it? Either you're talking a load of hot gas, or this is one of them paranormal photos. Mr. Prosecutor, are you telling me you're into UFOs and sh such? Bah! She's misunderstood me. UFOs. I need to have another listen to Miss Swift's tape. It's clear the tape was recorded at the moment this photo was taken. Yeah. Also, because it, he's we flipping know, everyone here's the off. Thing. We know that she can't be the person in the red, because she has this giant backpack that she can't shed in the crowd because the crowd is like trying to walk through. Unless a she dropped pool. it. <laughs> but Can, she has it now. Like set it down next to her. Maybe. Can you see the president with his fist raised in the air? What about it? Miss Swift, might we hear your tape one more time? Nuh uh, you ain't gonna hear a word. You've been the way you've been treating me. Would you rather we charge you with obstruction of justice and seize it from you? Uh Fine, you win. I'm no match for you, Mr. Prosecutor. The question is, during which part of his speech did the president raise his fist? Oh, no matter what sort of heinous criminal organization there is, I will not allow them to exist! The president raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. Aha! Raises his fist straight from the horse's mouth, sir! This tape was recorded at the moment the president raised his fist overhead. Th that means- Man, Kay, you took like the best photo ever to have all of this evidence in it. <laughs> Seriously, Nicole not being in the photo is really strange. Oh, but she is in the photo. Right here. The person in the red hood, it was you, Nicole Swift. Uh, that's not what I'm accusing- Ah! You're the real assassin, aren't you, pal? Th that ain't so. I- I- I ain't never worn that red raincoat! Hmm. This red raincoat in question I belongs swear, to- I swear, I swear, if, if this is because of the parka being reversible, and thus that hides stains, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, the red raincoat in question belongs to- it can't belong to- it can't belong to Taylor Swift. Um, <laughs> it, it can't belong to Nicole Swift because she has the parka that's reversible. I don't think it belongs to John Doe. I think they ripped it off of someone. Oh, okay, so let's do the dumb one first. Wait, hang on. Oh, that works. Wait, what? Hang Do on. Do they all work? Do they all work? No, that raincoat belongs to neither Miss Swift nor Mr. Doe. Then, whose is it? It's <laughs> mine. Don't you get it? It can only belong to one person. I don't get it. Who is that person, sir? W wait, I I'd like to take back what I just said. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say this was your first day on the job, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh! <laughs> I should remember the details of Mr. Doe and Miss Swift's testimonies. Especially the numerous things we found out about that raincoat. The raincoat? The person in the red hood is Miss Swift, and so the owner of the raincoat must be... Miss Swift! It can only be you! Ah, uh, but does that young lady have an injury, I wonder? Huh? Uh, what do you mean, pal? Have you forgotten about the blood stain in the raincoat? He's right. The right sleeve with the button torn off was stained with blood. Okay, I actually forgot that it was John Doe. I thought they were talking about something different. The raincoat's owner is Mr. Doe. That much has been proven. You were wearing something else. A different red hood. You, you mean there were two red hoodies, sir? No, Mr. Doe's last testimony was true. But we didn't find any other red raincoats. What Mr. Doe saw was a red hood, not a raincoat. Miss Swift, what was it you told us earlier about your parka? Hmm? 
Oh, you mean when I said I ain't worried about it getting all dirty? It's reversible, so all I gotta do is turn it inside out and- ah! As I thought. Mr. Edgeworth, the inside of her parka is red! Oh, I guess it is. Indeed, and during the incident, she was using that side. Wh what Hey, pal, what's the big idea? You're wrong. I've been wearing it like this the whole day. Well then, will you allow me to examine your parka? What are you expecting to find? We know it was raining prior to the president's speech. I believe you said earlier... Well, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. Come rain or snow, all I need is my trusty parka. If you really didn't turn your parka inside out, then the inside should be dry. Or, you know, if it... She could just be wearing it wet on the inside. Not that that's a good <laughs> idea, but she could. She soaked it in water before wearing it outside. <laughs> no! Hang on a minute, I ain't taking off this heavy backpack and putting it on again. Sorry, but can't we do this another time? You think you can fool Mr. Edgeworth with that, pal? Oh. All right then, pal. If we're really wrong, prove it. Show us the inside of the parka. I... It wasn't me. I ain't no assassin. Miss Swift, if you want me to believe that, then you need to cooperate with us. Will you please tell us why you wore the red side of the parka? I'm sorry, Mr. Prosecutor. I... I had my reasons, honest. I tell you all everything, just quit bullying me. Whose voice was that? Hold on a sec. It's a little too yeah. early for the end game. Yeah, let's go, Lang Z. No, that's not Lang Z. Yes, it is. Was that Lang Z the whole time? No. Oh, did I give him the Lang Z voice? Yes, you did. Hmm. Okay, um. <laughs> hey, you in the fancy suit. Haven't you been jumping the gun ever since your opening move? This man was in case photo. It's Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Whoa! I guess I should introduce myself first. My name is... Okay, stop being fancy. Sheesh. Horace Knightley, the president's bodyguard. Second in command of his personal security unit. Ah! W watch it, pal! That's not a toy! Whoa, my bad. She wants to just come out and play. I can't seem to help it. Um... Why do you have a gun if you're not a police officer? It's America! I can do what I want! <laughs> Everybody has guns in America. <laughs> She's a lady of Zane Fa. Only the president's bodyguards are authorized to use it. Anyway, back to business. I've got some news for you. There's good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Is the president dead? Makes no difference to me. Do as you wish. Okay, bad news, the president's dead. Good news, he was a butt, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 you sure? I've given you the first move. <laughs> okay. Bad news, the president's dead. Good news, his approval ratings are way up. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's dead. Now that he's dead. It's like, oh, now that he's dead, well, actually, looking back, he was a pretty okay president. That's how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you the first move. All right, I got you. I'll start with my pawn. It seems you enjoy chess. <laughs> you play too, Mr. Fancy Suit? My name is Horse Knightley, so, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Edgeworth, and I do have a fondness for chess. Is that so? Well then, Chess Master Edgeworth, I'll start with the good news. The president's safe. Not even a scratch on him. Really? That's great, pal! It seems that the young lady was not a murderer after all. Good for you, Nicole! B but I... Well there! Don't forget, there's still the bad news. The president's safe because his bodyguards protected him. Actually, I had nothing to do with it. It was the leader who protected him. At the cost of his own life. Oh, are you kidding me? Did Ethan die? That would be the other guard. Rook, was it? Yeah, that's right. Rook died to protect the president. Okay, we're gonna need to get a spirit medium in here so we can talk to him and ask if he actually knows... John Doe. John Doe. Maybe John Ed Doe- Edgeworth's not gonna call a spirit medium! <laughs> As I said, John Doe might have been trying to kill Ethan if Ethan was, like... Try if if he wronged him, because that would be mm. what the assassin would do. Similar to 
Matt on guard when he was right, like, okay, right. you can either go to prison or you can be hunted by an assassin the rest of your life. I guess I choose prison. I guess I choose ch- it's Camp Liquid or jail. <laughs> I've never been to jail before. <laughs> AT most jail, yeah. son. That would be way, that would be a way for What? Is that so? Rook is dead. What a shame. Th- that means Nicole. It means that the little lady killed him. My brother in arms. Uh, no. I think what happened is there's a little bit of cahoots going on here. I think... <laughs> the president <laughs> shot him. <laughs> he flipped off America, and then he shot his bodyguard and pretended he was getting shot. <laughs> no! What a butt. No, that's not what I... I think what happened is someone... They're trying to fake an assassin attempt, assassination attempt of the president. Someone pointed oh. the laser pointer at the president. What? No! My 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 pimple's coming back. Oh no! <laughs> and then the, that causes the bodyguards to be like, whoa. And because you can see that like someone's aiming, the bodyguard Rook locks eyes with D- assassin uh, John, Doe. John Doe, shoots him, tries to make it look like he's gonna shoot the president. Oh. And then maybe maybe he actually does or something. Okay. And then. Rook has to jump in to save him because he can see it. Hmm. Otherwise, he would, you know, if you can't protect the president, that's your one job. Right. You'd be out of a job. You wouldn't have anything. So, yeah. Anyway, th- th- that ain't true. I ain't a murderer. Whoa there. Put down, little Miss Murderer. Wait, th- I, d- I mean, if he sounds close to Elaine Z, that's fine because they're both from Zane Fa. <laughs> everyone just has the cool voice. Or actually, no, wait, he's, he's not from Zane Fa. No, the gun is from Zane Fa. Gun's from Zane Fa. This He's guy's from... just a security firm in America. <laughs> Jeez, even if we had to make a sacrifice to protect the king, it was a pretty bad move. That castling. The castling. Sacrifices of castles? What's he talking about, sir? They're all chess terms. He's saying Rook's life was exchanged for the president's. This guy sure talks funny, sir. Horace Knightley, was it? Hmm? What do you want? I'd like to examine the victim's body as soon as possible. And if it's possible, I'd like to question the president. Sorry, but... I can't let you do that. Wh- what? I got another piece of news for you. And this one's a doozy. There's another piece of news? Oh, pr- Prosecutor Von Karma is, uh... <laughs> From this point on, the investigation will be handled by the Zainfa police. What? I thought that the president hated the Zainfa police. Yeah, That's seriously. why he hired a security firm. What's going on, pal? This case is under our jurisdiction. You have no right to interfere. You're Prosecutor Edgeworth, right? The president knows about you solving the Yadagurasu case. That one was such a pain in the butt to solve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honored. That's why the chief prosecutor designated you to be in charge of the case. It seems the chief prosecutor made a little appeal to the president. But it looks like you're the wrong guy for the job. I didn't know you'd have this kind of reaction. It's the president's orders. If you oppose, you'll cause an international incident. Capiche? Nah. Hey, little lady, get over here. We'll continue your questioning inside the president's plane. I bet that the assassin paid off a bunch of people. <laughs> John Doe's like money for you and money for two you. Two twenties. It's two twenties. <laughs> I have make a lot more than that. Well, you get the huge roll of cash that as a tip. <laughs> oh, that's true. Or whatever. Think of all the twenties that was. That was a lot of twenties. No, I I didn't do nothing. Hey now, don't be a baby. You scared of a little Zane Fa justice? Mr. Prosecutor, please, please help me. Miss Swift. It's clear that Miss Swift was the person in the red hood. However, that doesn't mean that the whole truth has been revealed. No, I really didn't do it. Please, you gotta believe me. Is it really all right for it to end this way? All I see is a girl with eyes full of fear pleading for help. Certainly not someone who's committed a heinous crime. If I stand aside now and do nothing, the truth will be lost to the darkness. And then someone else walks in. Ah! Uh! What? What? Did he just shoot her straight what? up? What the? You! 
He has a girly scream. <laughs> Silence. Oh. <laughs> what the is an impolite way to greet someone? Your neck injury has yet to heal, and you've already forgotten. N no, not you, not now. Oh, so they both were on the same thing. It seems you've remembered. Hey, what are you doing? Cut it out, pal. You've got some nerve to do that right in front of a detective of and yeah, a prosecutor. Seriously, I was just thinking that. Stop! Stay out of this! He's out of your league! Mr. Doe, who on earth are you? I am not merely a simple ice cream salesman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional assassin! His name is... Shelly DeKiller! Shelly DeKiller? Hey! There's no one in law enforcement who doesn't know the name DeKiller. An assassin who will carry out any request without fail. He was once involved in a case I handled. Yeah. It's been a while, Prosecutor well, Edgeworth. Edgeworth. <laughs> Although, I do believe this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a request from a key individual. To take the president's life. I should have seen his face before in the case files. Curses! I was careless. I'm glad I had a knife inside my bandage before I entered the park. Even though my calculations were a little off. A knife, not a gun? Yeah. Now, Mr. Knightley, shall we play the game that you love so much? Of course, the stakes will be your life. What are your demands? I want to relinquish investigation, uh, investigative authority back to Prosecutor Edgeworth. Why? Investigative authority? Wh what are you playing at? I simply want you to allow Mr. Edgeworth to continue his investigation. Uh-huh. Why do you want that? Edgeworth hired him. <laughs> that would be... He literally said I was careless and I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Rook is an opponent who is connected to me by fate. I would like to discover the truth about his death. When that man died, the investigative authority was transferred to you. So in reality, it's like, there could be two people there. Maybe like, maybe Nicole was like an ex-lover or something of Rook's- Wait, how, do we have profiles? How old are the bodyguards? Do we know? Horace Knightley is 24, and Ethan Rook is 45. Never mind, that'd be kind of weird. But, <laughs> but maybe like, he's 24 and he has that job? Yeah. Good for him. Like, that's impressive. He must have climbed the ranks. I am simply asking you to give it back to this prosecutor. With your life at stake, this really isn't the time to be stubborn. Why, you... You're just using the investigation to get close to the president! And what if I am? Indeed, in order to continue the investigation, it is necessary that we enter the president's plane. Here's the thing. Aren't there a ton of people around? They're all shuffled to one side, though. But they're all watching this! They're, yep. like, they're like, man, this is pretty exciting. Uh, there's an assassin among us. <laughs> now we all know his face. <laughs> now we all know his face. As the leader as the leader of the president's bodyguards, I won't allow it. Oh, I thought you were only second in command. He's dead. Now that Rook's gone, I'm in charge. I'm not sure if you're as capable as Rook was. W what are you saying? I'm totally the leader now. Very well. In that case, please exercise judgment befitting of a leader. You can lose your life here, needlessly. Or, will you allow the investigation to continue? Gah! He's using the investigation as an excuse? Why would he go to all that trouble? What is this man thinking? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I trust you have no objections. Let us continue the investigation. Mr. Edgeworth, wh what should we do, sir? For now, we have no choice but to accept his proposal. At least we'll be able to investigate. But, listen well, detective. I'll use the investigation to buy us time. Meanwhile, gather up all your men. Surround the president's plane so that he can't escape. Right! Roger that, sir. Oh, best be to be continued jingle right here. That's cool. I really like that. I like Very that. snazzy. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and tune in next time. We're going to investigate the president's plane. I wonder the what that'll look like. president's plane is it an iFly? I-I-Fi? I-Fi-Fo? No, I-Fi? It's not an iFly plane, though. 
And this is also a pretty good stop, uh, pretty good time to stop recording. I think next week, hopefully, we can meet again because I've got okay. next week off of work. Okay. We can finish first case, maybe start the second, maybe. Maybe. Second case is great. I love it. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Thank you.